either really good with it or have come to a place where you, you know, manage some strategies to do it and have those strategies somewhere would be really useful. That somewhere could at least could perhaps start with this uh, hashtag. So if you haven't, go ahead and tweet, tweet those out, uh, whatever you can, either now or later. Um, so the person uh, who I interviewed, I was like, is there anything else? Was there any other issues? Uh, and, and there was, there was this, this big issue. This is honestly the first issue, the first thing that she said when I was like, well, why aren't you, why aren't you put it out there? And it was basically that, like, she's like, well, I'm kind I'm not uh, enough. I'm not, you know, I'm not, maybe I'm not um, whatever enough. I'm not sure what that whatever was. It's kind of different for, for every person. I think some people choose one or two with witty enough, not photogenic enough. Some people you talk to, the word if they're not cool enough, not smart enough, that's a big one. So these not whatever enough, it's hard because it's, it, it exists in, in their head and it's hard to, to tell people that that's the case. Uh, it's also hard to know how widespread this is. And I was worried about this too when I was thinking about this talk because I was like, how could I, how can I really gauge what's going on with the whole thing? And I, we only have so much time for these talks to prepare. So I did the, sort of the only thing that, that made, would make sense to, to me. And that was, well, oh yeah, so I asked the question, right? If, if Midboss was, was the only four people that are something, there was something that, there, if there was some like inner circle that, you know, that was there, how would we know that? What would that look like? And to figure this out, I decided to literally download every single hashtag Midboss tweet with some minor uh, data collection errors, <laughs> ever and analyze them for patterns. So that's what I did. Except for January and February of 2014. Sorry about that, if that was like your... <laughs> <laughs> that was a sweet spot. Sorry for the comment. You really like, didn't just try it and get that one. Uh, but yeah, I did it because I figured that, that we'd see some trends. So we'd see some, we'd, we'd see this and we'd see some information. So I had some questions. And, and the questions I, I asked, and which might not be the best questions, and I imagine if you have better questions, you could uh, put it on a uh, hashtag. First off, how many of us are there? So that was one question. And how have we grown? How has that worked? And also, how much do we tweet? And with these, I guess what I'm looking for is to see sort of some sort of pattern. So like, for the how many of us are there pattern, I'm imagining that there should be a number that grows over time, right? If there, if there isn't, if there's some circle, then it would be a number that it grew and then it stopped because people stopped joining. Uh, for that's, that's sort of also this how we grown thing. Is it gonna be, look linear? Is it gonna look like uh, exponential or decay? Uh, and how much do we tweet also? If there was like a group of people that, were, that joined and then fall, fell off, then I imagine like the tweeting would sort of go up and then come back down and go up and stay, stay straight. So these are three questions. We're gonna go look at these right now. So let's go ahead and, and see what happens here. Um, so just real quick, with your name, like real quick, high and low estimate, how many people ever tweeted Midboss? Take, take a second, think about it. Okay, somebody, somebody, hmm? That's a good question. Whoops. All right, so. All right, everybody thought about it. One question that came up. What, what are we talking about? When have people ever tweeted the hashtag Midboss? This hashtag wasn't used until April of 2013. So I didn't get, I couldn't get anything after that because that was too much to sift through. And I didn't get any, I didn't get like all the tweets that all the people tweeted because that's also too much work. I just got the tweets that have that hashtag on. I searched for that as the sort of search, search term. Um, and so we need some kind of estimate. What's a low estimate that somebody had? A thousand. A thousand. What's a high estimate? A hundred and fifty thousand. Great. Okay. So 
<laughs> this certainly isn't going to disappoint those people. Uh, <laughs> so then I did it. I, I put all this stuff. It's a really like ugly, stupid um, spreadsheet thing that wasn't that exciting. So I made a little website for it. The website uh, I call it Mint Boss Roll Call or MTBOS Roll Call. So it's a website there, and, then, and I got to actually pull the images of the people that came in. Um, here's the first two people that tweeted this hashtag on Twitter, which isn't the first person to use the acronym again. That was um, Christopher who was here yesterday. Uh, but so yeah, that's the first one. This is the next seven people who use it at once, and then the June. So this is this is where we're at at this point. Um, and then, oh wait, what happened? That didn't work. Oh right, so this is all the people through September. This is just October. So we, this was, this is how this was growing, and then this exploded. And this exploded, be, I think, because of the Explore Mip Boss thing. That initiative actually made a, a big impact, and that's also a thing for later, that these initiatives uh, uh, do make a big impact. This growth in that one month is more than the previous how many months, and more than the uh, next how many months. Anyways, so with all this, the question is, how many would there be by the time I stopped actually collecting data, June 6, 2017? So if you guys want to try to like adjust your estimates of this, if this changes your thing, you can think about it. You know, just for fun, I'll put up a little table here so you guys can actually see what's happening on like, sort of like a month, month level. So we're going to finish this on Desmos. So, <laughs> so now you can go there and you can get the uh, big reveal. So if you want to go to Desmos, if the people if you're in the uh, watch on Twitter too, they can also be in there too. Go in there, put in your estimate, put in your estimate also for the number of tweets that there would have been total by 2016. So it'll, it'll keep like a running tally of all of them. Oh, 
to connect or people creating opportunities for people to connect. And there's a lot of conferences too. So NTTM Annual, NTTM Regional. So it's also real life connections. When those, when those happen, there's a lot of need to post to NIPA. So I think that those things are really important, at least from what I get out of this. But, I'm, you know, I'm not the, I don't know all the information about this, so if you guys have any thoughts, questions, other things to explore, let me know. And this is like a really, really, really big spreadsheet that if you guys want to dive into, I actually think I put it on uh, my blog post that I put out on Monday, so you guys can look at that as well. All right, so that's, so that's that. If you guys have it, please go ahead and fill it out, and I'll give you like another minute or so to work on this, and I'm going to pause you on this, and we'll go back into this, the PowerPoint. Yeah, I think you get it. MIPOS is really big. It's working for a lot of people. There's a lot of value coming out of it. There are um, some things that we were worried about, and and there's some questions to, to ask. So when I was doing this, I thought, all right, well, let's let's think about this, and let's get some more information. The data information is sort of like quantitative research is valuable. What if I get some qualitative research value? And, and that qualitative research involved going back in time to the time before the hashtag started, because there was certainly a MIPOS before 2013. And in that question, so going back to the 2000s, you know, what was life like back then? <laughs> so a lot, you know, a lot of things were different. I, so I talked to seven people. I'm not going to say their names because I don't want it to be about like them, but I try my best to collect all their ideas, and I think those things are really, are really valuable as well. So for those things, for those people, when they talked about the pre boss pre-hashtag boss or before the hashtag, it's, it was just a bunch of teachers who wanted to get better. That's what I heard from, like, across the board. And that they, they wanted to put stuff out there, but they couldn't find a place to put their ideas. That there just wasn't in their district, or just the way their school was set up, the way their structure was, there was, it was sort of loneliness. They felt like they were isolated, and they needed a place that they could, they could have some fresh air. Um, so a lot of people wanted to be a part of a conversation about teaching with other teachers, other educators, that wasn't like the traditional class. Uh, conversation about teaching. Some people were like new to teaching, some people had been in teaching for a very long time, but they all wanted more of the, a type of conversation that just couldn't happen in their schools for whatever reason. So they, they ended up just wanting to open up a window to their classroom. Like if you imagine that so much of teaching is in silos, I think this is a metaphor that's used a lot. If you imagine a big grain silo, a big tube and Really all you're doing in there is, is sitting down there with a little bit of light from the very top. Well, they wanted to open up a window, a window that could let in some new ideas without necessarily completely opening it up. They didn't like tear it down, just enough so that they could, they could share out ideas without hurting or damaging the, the sort of anonymity and the comfort that they set up. So that's what they did. They just created a little window, a picture like a silo with a little window in it. They, they wanted that. And they wanted to get feedback from each other too. So they they put out big ideas. Some of these big initiatives that um, you still see going on today. Those things they went out there in part because they just wanted to get feedback. Like, oh, hey, we'll create this this website that teachers can come to get activities from. And then I'm, I'm also halfway wondering like what they're gonna bring back and and give to me and add to my growth. So uh, this give and get situation with resources. And much, much more. I really can't summarize it here. Somebody should probably write a book on it. Uh, and I think that would be really cool. So, so that, was, that was a really big thing. And then I talked to all those teachers. Uh, and I asked them, you know, why should, why should people do it? Like, why? At that time, the title of my talk was going to be, Why is it important to hit send? So I said, you know, why is it important to hit send? And I, I asked those teachers that question. And these are each of their answers in order. And I'll just let them sort of speak for themselves. So this is the first one. Why would you take a photograph of family or friends? You want to capture that moment in time. Why is it important to hit send? You want to capture that moment in your profession to either learn from it 
or celebrate it. Did I skip one? Don't be afraid to hit sin. It's not important that you do it, but it's important that you don't fear it. There is no moderator. No one's making sure you have a turn. If you're waiting, you may never see your sign. So don't be afraid to throw your voice in the mix. Otherwise, all you'll hear from are the loud mouths like me. <laughs> it's important to have the voices out there of people who have something different to say. Will I learn something from this? What ultimately will help you is learning, whether it's a question that you might post or something that you want to find out if people agreed or disagreed with. It's good to think of Twitter as a place for learning and a tweet as an opportunity to learn something. Members of a family share things with each other. The most important thing is sharing, so that it opens a window into our lives and our classrooms. I know how much we benefited from other people's wisdom, so pressing send is a way to stay engaged with the family and to open up the window a little bit. If you press send, you make yourself smarter. Even if no one reads it, by articulating the words, you will be smarter about it. It's because we had built a trust, a camaraderie among ourselves. We knew we were learning from other vulnerabilities that we weren't alone in our struggles. We took pride in sharing our small successes and seek comfort in sharing our giant failures. Opening the door to your classroom is an opportunity for leadership. Teachers may not think they are a leader, but opening your door and opening yourself to feedback and saying you want to get better is leadership. All right, so those quotes are on the slide that I just turned off in the, in the activity order, if you want to actually read them and see them all at once. So that's there. And I think that would be useful to reflect on it. I thought there was, that they, were, they spoke to me in a way. I thought they were more powerful than any summarization I could do, so I said it straight up. And I sat there and read the PowerPoint slides to you, which is what they tell every presenter to not do. So that gives you an idea of how useful I think they might be to you guys. Uh, and you can just reflect on them. And on that, it's a card sort, but there isn't any order. It's just, I, it's easier for, for you guys to see them all. So that was the, the idea with that. Uh, the last slide of the Desmos activity is a space to, to reflect on it or, or to maybe even ask your own. And, and I wonder what you guys think. If you were to talk to someone like this um, anonymous, non-TBOs person, and what would you say to them um, as far as why, why should they why should they push in and why should they share it out? So that would be, that's what I'm hoping you guys take a minute to talk about with your neighbor and to try and, and do on your uh, computer.